focus on how education might mediate difference and dominance. So we're going to talk about those two topics and really break them down for you. So I'm just going to put this projector on, give me a few minutes, and uh, we'll watch the presentation. So today we're going to start with the event of the Cronulla Riots. And this will just highlight how this real life event can explain and illuminate the idea of difference and dominance. The Cronulla Riots began on the 4th of December 2005, where two off-duty lifeguards from Cronulla Beach were assaulted by a group of four men to be known of Lebanese descent. The rioting event took place as a retaliation um, which led to nearly 5,000 people congregating around the beach and the main streets of Cronulla, proudly demonstrating what it is to be an Australian or to be Aussie. The rioting became violent when a man of Lebanese appearance was actually assaulted on Cronulla Beach. So in order to mediate difference and dominance by using the Cronulla riots as an example, we need to break down uh, the event into two concepts, one being the turf war and one being primarily a racial war. So students, hopefully the presentation I prepared for you just really gave you a background understanding um, of what the two key topics we're going to break down for you now. So the first one we'll look at will be difference. Second so I'd really like to start with a open forum a bit of a roundtable discussion for everyone so that we can take this event now, the Cronulla Riots, and really just highlight how difference and dominance were viewed and portrayed in that event. So now that we're going to break down what difference actually is, um, I see you've all got some really good points there, so I'll just take a call from here. So the way that the Australian community and the Lebanese community actually differ in things like this, we've got um, religion, their religions are obviously different, Things simply like clothing, what we wear, um, our skin colour, definitely. Um, even our behaviours, that's a big one. Um, our culture and traditions, all those factors, we can clearly see that one group or one identity differs from the other. Difference highlights the racial war side of the event. Dominance highlights the turf war side of the event. Difference. Australian versus Lebanese. The process of identity formation requires us to sort and compare and identify things that are not us. When focusing on the turf war side of the writing, we can reference the textbook Culture and Identity, which draws our concentration onto the chapters regarding space and place. In this image 100% Aussie Pride, um, it really highlights the concept of space and place and the meaning of home. The beach is only a space. It is a space where anyone can go and frequent this area. The problem occurs though when space turns into a place because the change is actually a significance or a meaning to that space. In this funny cartoon here, um, we can see that there's a diversity difference. There's a threat on the basis that a new identity may encroach upon our current Australian status. Um, and therefore, as you can see, the Australians are chasing the Lebanese community off the beach. It shows that we are possibly marginalising them and making them the minority group, therefore leaving us as the more dominant group. Encouraging students to learn of the primary school and adolescent age group requires your lesson plan to be as creative as possible. PowerPoint presentations are an interactive way of conveying your lesson plan to the students. The use of interactive slides and images really grasps your students' attention span. By arranging the class in a round table discussion instead of the traditional teacher out the front presenting a lecture lesson, this will enable the students to speak freely, bounce off one another's ideas and also address the situation so also with, with case, an open mind. Sort of have a 
a look at whether either community, the Australian or the Lebanese cultures, have now been disadvantaged or possibly advantaged by this. So class, I'm just going to leave it there for today. Before I finish up, I want to recap and just say that we have covered difference and dominance. We've also looked at diversity and identity, what forms an identity. Um, and we've put all those concepts together. Obviously, they're very crisscross, sort of woven into one another. Um, and that's why we use the open forum, the roundtable discussion, so that we could um, freely speak about that and bring our ideas out. It wasn't such a structured thing. So I hope you really enjoyed that today. Um, but what we'll go on to later is the fact that, yes, now we do have our basic knowledge of difference and dominance. We can now look at how that possibly, like I said before, advantage or disadvantages these two identity groups. But thank you very much for today.